Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you for bearing with me as I'm learning how to be a positivity coach in public because it's just what I do. I turn my life from negative to positive. It's very, very hard. And now I am learning to work on my feels. Okay, so my subject for you today is how to feel your feels. And the reason that I'm good at sharing this with you is because from the time I was little, and you may wonder why I share these things in public, because to feel is to be human, and it's my duty as a feeling human to share that with you and help you to feel your feelings so that you're not dangerous to other people as I was dangerous to other people. And I can illustrate that further, but the people who know me know they get scared when I get feelings because I have not known how to express them. And so I get angry. I'm sure you can relate. So if you watch the How to Manage Your Anger video and you watch the next one, How to Handle Gossip and Slander, then you have a spiritual basis for learning to feel your feels, okay? So those are the things that kind of bury one-on-one, -on -one. hello Twin Flames all over the world. Twin Flame just means you are yourself, you're empowered, you're whole, you don't need another person to fill you, you don't have to work out your trauma on somebody else. It's radical and it's new because we've been working out our trauma on each other as humans since we, I guess, evolved. And some would argue that we have not evolved. <laughs> I would argue that we've evolved and we need to evolve more. And so that's why I'm here, to help you evolve as I evolve and fall on my face in front of you. And because I've been a public figure since I was a teenager, just don't give a about sharing it with you because I've already been evil-eyed and slandered and I just send all that back with love. I'm going to just take a moment to bless my haters. I love you guys. Truly, you may think I'm being sarcastic in the past, I was really sarcastic, so people don't really know me now, it's weird. I have to like really watch my face <laughs> and make sure I'm not being angry because I, I get really angry. So anyways, let's get back to the subject. Angels, help me out. They're really just here to keep me in check because I ramble and I've had a habit in the past of rambling, which was part of a function issue I had. So I don't do that anymore. And I'm here to tell you that feeling your feelings is, is okay. It's scary, it's, especially for somebody like me because I was told by a relative some things happen and I'll never share them publicly because I don't remember, so nobody needs to worry. But for some reason, I was, uh, most of my life, nobody knows why except for that one person that told me. And it shocked me. So I had to go through about a decade of accepting the truth, which wasn't what everybody had told me it was. And so I spent a lot of time as a youth running away, and I was really shamed and humiliated for that. And all, my whole life I thought it was bad. And I wasn't allowed to cry. For some reason it was really bad to cry because you get called names, get called a crybaby because that's what happened to the people who were trying to teach me not to feel to survive in the world. So I have no anger or hatred at the people who perpetuated the violence that they were handed down from their parents because each generation they did a little better. And sometimes that's all you could do okay this is the censored edition because i know my grandma is going to watch this eventually i love her so much call your grandparents while they're here i can tell you from losing one set of grandparents because i was afraid of death and i was asked if i could go watch them and live in their beautiful house with them and take care of them i wish i would have said yes i didn't know how to be in families and i didn't know how to deal with death or old people but i will regret that forever because they're here with me <laughs> in spirit and they don't feel angry at me, but I now have to share with you that if you call your grandparents, you're gonna to get to know them and they're gonna tell you some things about life that you won't hear from anybody else because I can tell you when nobody believed in me at all and I have to say there was a time where nobody believed in me at all because I was not feeling my feels until it was too late and then I was getting homicidal rage and ending up in jail once. But you know, people got scared, okay? My boyfriends were scared of me. If there's nothing like having somebody flinch when you come near their face. Especially if you're like a cute girl that everybody kind of treats like a precious little doll. It's really, really weird, okay? So I've written a lot of music to try to deal with it. It's all over the web under Kirsten Bean. It was my attempt, okay? 
be gentle. I had some Japanese band. <laughs> they do really cool like uh, shows of replicant stuff. I, I was and they found me on uh, Cat underscore Bambini, and they were like, "I've listened to your real songs. I really like your voice on Unicorn." And it was like my moment. I was like, "Yay!" That's when you know you've arrived in being a good musician when somebody actually finds your music and likes it. <laughs> So, I also had a fan in Germany once, so that really made me feel like I made it. So anyways, I'm not getting to the point. Feelings are hard. They were always hard for me because what happens to me when I feel like I'm going to cry, and I'm going to share this with you. It's going to be awkward. You're going to wonder why I'm sharing it. Like, why is she doing this? You're sitting there, you're like, why? Please don't. Don't do it. Don't do it, bitch. Well, I'm going to do it. So my grandma, I'm going to go back to my grandma that's alive. Nobody believed in me and I was about to like kill myself. I was like, this is the end. I'd ended up in the loony bin twice. And this was after me seeking nonviolence and peace in my relationships, blaming everybody else for my problems, okay? She's like, look, honey, you've always been really intelligent. She's like, people don't like me either. I know how that feels. <laughs> and I wanted to cry because you probably want to cry too. You know your grandma sees your soul, okay? I'm lucky enough to have two grandmas who are alive. One passed. I had three for a while. I was very spoiled, okay? Spoiled little girl who had a lot of people around me who loved me, but couldn't feel because to cry meant I was going to be yelled at and that I wouldn't be cool. Like my dad who plays piano. You have to hold your feelings in and put it into the music. That's what I learned. So that explains my lip syncing. Okay, for those who are watching both, it's kind of like a train wreck. You go to the video, you go to the, the Instagram, and that's the hype, but it's so I can get you here and tell you about haters. You gotta watch that video, please. It's from long experience having a lot of haters and having it kicked out of me. I, if you watch the slander and gossip video, you'll know I have it kicked out of me. You may think pretty girls have it easy. We don't, we have it hard. We get beat up by other girls. We don't know we're pretty. Then we get a bunch of tattoos and then we're treated like a criminal and we start hanging out with criminals because they teach us to love ourselves because they can see the good in us. Uh, although we think we're seeing the good in them. So, you know, to really learn and grow is to admit your weaknesses. And I have a hard time crying in front of people when it's a real issue. And so there's a lot of drama sometimes, poems, having to get it out and understand it. Fortunately, I found a community that can deal with that and really likes it. They really enjoy it when I process my emotions and share them because it helps them with my little poems. And that's all I want, and I'm happy. And so I've had an experience the other day where I had a feel and I didn't know where it came from. I think it was a the man kind of feeling like, I can't believe I have to do stupid to make money. And I just down and then I couldn't be there with my partner. I couldn't talk. I could just sulk. And then I couldn't communicate. I was angry. And then all these other dramas came up and I was just trying to stay by myself. Like I need to be alone because I'm going to be, I'm going to kill somebody. And I don't think about that often, don't worry. I'm being dramatic. It used to be like that, okay? And when you get to that point where you feel like you want to kill somebody, there's a book by Lundy, Why Does He Do That for Women and for Men. Read it. Gay men especially. I know sometimes I speak very heteronormatively. That's my upbringing. I'm so sorry. I am so inclusive to gay people and queers. You guys are my fam, okay? So if I haven't included you, I have to apologize for that. I think I said something once that was heteronormative. I felt really bad about it because that didn't include your reality. So hope you're watching. If you're not, just future peeps know that I used to hang out in the Castro in San Francisco at gay hair salons and I felt safe there because I wasn't treated like property. Anyways, I'm getting off. Angels are like, come on Kirsten, come on bitch, come on. So talk to your grandma, I hope that got through. That's really the most important thing that I would say. Call your grandma, so I called my grandma on Valentine's even though I was having a bad mood, bad feelings, angry, taking out on my partner. Called grandma and said, happy Valentine's. I didn't say my partner sucks, da, 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 da. I said, happy Valentine's, I love you. I hope you feel better from your flu shot. I'm gonna let you go so you don't have to talk on the phone because I know you're having a hard time. 
and I felt good and I can call her again today there's no she said I could call her every day isn't that awesome so if you have one connection you could talk to who knows you at your heart gosh this is so vulnerable it's really hard for me okay that's good somebody who's heard you cry and hasn't yelled at you and tells you that it's okay to cry doesn't shut you down or try to tell you your feelings don't matter or you need to stop feeling them because we know as sensitive kids we know who it's safe to tell our feelings to and when okay sometimes we overreact though you might shut down for me it's like I can't cry something terrible is gonna happen that's what happens so I need to get away you know how cats are like injured and they just disappear and they crawl into a hole and die or they get better I studied cats a lot growing up that's what I learned to do hide away everybody gets offended but I can't do anything for anybody at that point so hopefully I'm sharing that with you I'm all do these are all from the heart they're very raw they're really hard to put out I get a lot of hate but then I just send it back with love so it's like triple love to everybody because I love everybody in my community I love everybody sometimes I'm toxic though so I'm sharing this with you if you need to get away and you have that ability do it okay I don't care if it's awkward 11 11 you're on your path what are your positive affirmations I'm happy, I'm positive, I'm not Satan. It's not really the best one, I'm not Satan. You could be like, I am angelic. I'm learning to be angelic. I'm surrounded by angels. So that I can, yesterday I was having a hard time with my emotions, I thought I might lose it, I felt like I was gonna die, and I prayed for my angels, and then I went to Dr. Virtual's 911 emergency video, and I played that over and over again. I played some Reiki, I had to play a lot of things. It was, it was a problem because it seemed like I was playing a lot too many things, but sometimes you have to play a lot too many things from YouTube, from your favorite peeps on YouTube. I have to promote that because this is YouTube and I'm right now on YouTube promoting my favorite peeps on YouTube, which is the most awesome thing ever. That's why I do it for free. What goes around comes around, like Lauren Hill says. She knows every trick in, under the sun. You can't fool her, okay? 12-12, what are your positive affirmations? It's my timer. My two times per day, 11, 11, 12, 12. Positive affirmations, just three, three or four. I am awesome, I am valued, I can share, share my feelings and people won't kill me. Right? How hard was that for me? See how hard that was for me? And I just did that in front of you, okay? Because I don't give up. Honey badger don't give up. When you've died twice, you don't give up. And you have to remember that because you do get shy. Like I did get beat up a lot. So I couldn't cry because I'd get beat up by my friends. I had to be tough, okay? And that's why a lot of people like me, because I'm tough, but at the same time, I'm not invincible. And I have feelings, and I can be very fragile too. And I'm sure a lot of men feel that way, especially violent men, people who've been in prison, people who feel like they're a precious bull in a china shop, and they just want to be a sweetheart and love somebody, but they're too violent. I know that. I really do, guys. So if any of you are watching this, some of the the jail guys who helped me to love myself. I remember some guy, he'd been in jail. Like, he was getting out so he could see his daughter. He quit math. And I'm in this group, like a battery class for a year. The one I told my partner to go to, but I ended up going to. Really helped me actually learn a lot about criminals. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about everything and, and where I would go if I didn't turn it around and become nonviolent. So I'm telling you a little bit about this so that you'll watch the channel and spread that love and comment and feel included. Because I want you to feel included here, okay? I value you. I know it's weird. You're like creeped out. So I used to be too. Okay. And, and my parental figures awesome were also were sometimes creeped out by feelings. I think a lot of people in my family are creeped out by feelings. And I'm the feels. I am the one that feels. And so another trick is you can lip sync. I'm so fortunate in that people have accommodated my weird way of showing emotions. But like, you know, so here's the, the takeaway. I felt to feel, it was dramatic for about six hours. I couldn't communicate it. Finally, I asked for a ride home. It was awkward. I made somebody cry, I felt really bad. I couldn't console them. I just got bitchy, like, Bleh, I'm not trying to hurt you. It's not about you, you know, stuff like that, okay. And I just couldn't do anything at that point. I'm like, I need to get right with God, lowercase G-O-D which is my higher self, which I don't know much about. And I'm trying to learn because I'm just sitting here scrambling being like, okay, higher self, can you tell me the secrets? And higher self is like, you just gotta feel, man. 
and you got some people in your life who are gonna help you walk through it, it's gonna be really, really awkward. And that's what a family is. <laughs> so, yeah, soul family. Let that be your example. Feel your feelings. It's not cool, homies, especially you hot motherfuckers, to not feel your feelings. What are you? Heroin chic from the 80s? I know it's hot and sexy, but look at what happened to Kate Moss and Johnny Depp and all those beautiful people who couldn't feel their feels because they have to be pretty and perfect and we're projecting on them, you know? So don't ask to be pretty, I'll tell you that. I begged my whole life to be pretty. <sighs> the angels are laughing at me. Angels will torture you guys, okay? So if you partner with them, I have to give you this caveat. You're gonna have to do good because they're about doing good, okay? Satan doesn't care. He's about like having the experience and he makes some good metal tunes. You can dance with them, you know, put on Ace of Spades by Lemmy. It's gotten me out of jail a couple times in soul prison. Lemmy always helps me get out of soul prison, okay? So does Radiohead, because they know how to feel. If you don't know how to feel, put on some Radiohead songs. They're really emo, you would call it, but it's like they know how to feel their feels, and there's a map for feeling your feelings. Like today, I felt let down by Radiohead in my head, because that's my feelings. I have pockmarked certain songs for certain feels, so if those songs come up, I know I'm feeling something but it's only safe to share it in a lip sync video or alone, like a cat who scrambled away to lick their wounds so they don't kill whatever's around them. <laughs> You're welcome, honey boo-boos. You guys are gonna be okay, okay? Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for putting up with my long ass videos. Cause I guess you have to get to know me and that's how you succeed okay you let people get to know you and it sucks it feels really weird okay i don't like it, it makes me want to burn some incense or some sage and, and sleep for a couple of days but you know you have to continue to present and you have to show up showbiz is 80 percent showing up if your nails are screwed up it's better to show up a little screwed up than to not show up at all okay i learned that from showing up pretty screwed up to my modeling classes. God bless my coach. He's on the side of God, okay? I will see you guys later. Angels, anything else? I just feel like you guys are awesome. I can't, there's too many voices. They're not really voices, they're impressions, okay? It's hard to communicate them. I'm gonna have to tell you this from a layman's perspective as a psychic. It's hard to communicate the energy and translate it. So you guys who are like, oh man, she's hearing voices. It doesn't help me, okay. But whatever you need to do until you talk to your own angels. I can't tell you the nuances of how I learned to do that, but you can learn to do it yourself because everybody I believe can do what other people can do. Although we all have different skills, like Confucius says, we have different skills and our society needs to know how these skills best serve society instead of forcing people to do things that aren't in their skill set, which isn't helping anybody, not God, not humans. So the angels are not, they are trying to say like, you are Satan to me. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's because I love who I love. And they had an agenda be an angel you kind of have to be a nun okay ah I don't want to go but I'll be back and I hope I communicated to you that okay so I did feel my feel eventually I also asked for a spiritual practice so if you are spiritual if you have somebody you can do a spiritual practice with I was able to cry in that so sometimes you need a safe space to cry you might need to go to a chapel, a temple. You might need to hide in the bathtub for a couple days if you have one. Make sure you have one if you can. Or borrow somebody's, okay? It's okay. Sometimes we all have to learn to live together in communities. So somebody is really struggling right now. And I just want to say you're going to be okay. Look, if I can make it, you can make it, okay? 
really that's why I'm here for you. So you can be like, dude, she's making it. How, why? Yeah, and so that will get you moving. Cause you're like, dude, if she can do it, of course I can do it. And then that's why I'm here. Get it? I don't wanna go, later. Until next time.